The nuclear crisis in Japan is taking a turn for the worse. Japan's nuclear safety agency has raised the severity rating at the Fukushima Daiichi plant to a 7. Now that is the highest level and the same rating as Chernobyl. Officials say the amount of radiation spewing from the plant is a threat to human health and to the environment. For more now on the latest development, nuclear safety expert Cham Dallas joins us from Yokota Air Base in Tokyo. Cham, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Betty. Okay, so does this mean the situation is as bad as Chernobyl? Uh, no, it's not as bad as Chernobyl yet. Chernobyl resulted in 100 times as much radioactivity as Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined going into the atmosphere. Right now, that hasn't happened yet here at the Fukushima reactor complex. However, <clears throat> this nuclear crisis has more twists and turns than, uh, than Chernobyl did. We, at least we knew what we had with Chernobyl. It was a bad reactor accident, a total meltdown, and occurred right away. With Fukushima, it always seems like they're going to stabilize, and then it gets worse. Right, uh, exactly. I want to ask you about that twist and turn, because why did they raise the level now, a month after the earthquake and tsunami struck? Yeah, that's a mystery to us. Uh, we're all discussing that among the experts here. Like I said, I'm at the... Uh, Yokota Air Force Base with the assembled generals and admirals here. I'm going to give a briefing with them in just a few minutes, and and it is it's a mystery to us too why the sudden increase. <clears throat> Our my assessment, and I'll just give it to you, is that uh, we're getting some accurate readings now. Um, it's been very frustrating trying to make an assessment of this because we're we have not been given much information. Now the information is coming out. Uh, the Japanese are giving us more data. American. Teams are on the ground. The International Atomic Energy Agency is on the ground. Now we're getting more accurate data, and it seems and appears that the levels are higher than we expected in the reactor complex and probably in the area immediately around it, including in some residential areas. Uh, the levels here in Tokyo are still safe Jim, uh, for now. I want to get back to something uh, that you just said. You're going to be briefing the U.S. military. What are you going to be telling them? Well, they're very concerned about uh, what to do with their personnel, whether to bring 8,000 dependents back into the country. Uh, they were evacuated right after the crisis began. Uh, where to put their military assets, including an aircraft carrier battle group. These, these are all things that have to be decided. And it's, uh, it's difficult to do because of the lack of information or the lack of reliable information. You've been there for several days now in Japan. What are some of the things that you think need to be done to get this situation under control? Well, they, we need accurate measurements. We're, we're only starting to get them. We're three weeks into this crisis, and we're only now getting accurate data for radiation levels. We, we, that information needs to be uh, given to everyone, quite frankly. Uh, that information needs to be brought out. There needs to be a risk management plan put in place for these reactor workers. Uh, it appears that these workers are getting higher levels than we thought previously, and yet many of them have been there for weeks. And there needs to be a management plan put into place immediately to protect these workers and to follow them up over time to mm -hmm. see what health effects are inevitably going to be occurring there. So has TEPCO, the company in charge of the plant, responded well to this crisis, in your opinion? Well, uh, the risk communication uh, from TEPCO uh, has been poor uh, from the outset. It's, it's been a very poor example of risk communication and, and is improving now, uh, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been difficult. Um, quite frankly, uh, the plans that were made, they planned for a 7.5 Richter scale earthquake and they got a 9.0. They planned for a 25 foot tsunami wave and they got a 30 foot tsunami wave. So uh, they, they, they've gotten some bad turns to come their way. And this, most exercises are done for about 10 days. They think the crisis is over. This has gone beyond what they have prepared for in every way. How long do you think it's going to last? Well, I think the immediate danger, I, I guess well, the one example I've heard nuclear safety experts use is uh, this patient is still in the emergency room, okay? Uh, he, it's still on life support. We haven't, uh, we haven't come out of the crisis stage yet. That will last for several more weeks, it appears now. However, the recovery phase, the cleanup phase, will last for decades. Mm. All right. Uh, nuclear safety expert Cham Dallas joined